What is going on, Kaferos? Welcome back to another video. Today is an absolute banger. When I mean banger, I mean Tommy's coming over, aquarium guy, and you know things are getting serious with this tank when you saw this title and thumbnail. Eel. I'm not even kidding. We got an eel. So in just a little bit, as a matter of fact, right now we're getting right into it. We are about to get an eel for our aquarium. Tommy! What's up, Paul? <laughs> Tommy's back. It's time for a tank cleaning because our tank is going through this algae stage like where it gets really bad. So yeah, he's been cleaning it up consistently here and we're about to do the same. So in just a little bit, I love watching the tank cleanings by the way. Isn't it's, it? it's very satisfying to watch the algae. Give it a nice peel real quick. Watch the algae just... Like look at that just stripe. So yeah, while Tommy's cleaning the tank, we got some new stuff. Tommy went and picked all this stuff up. The filter is yelling at us again. But he filmed a little bit on uh, the fish that were at Andy, so I'll roll a couple of clips that Tommy took while he was shopping. Hey everybody, Paul asked me to record something. Uh, Blue jaw trigger, that's the trigger fish that Paul and I picked out for his aquarium. Bar gobies are a really cool, peaceful schooling fish. You just need to make sure that the lid is uh, super secure because bar gobies love to jump. He's got a school of Bangai cardinals. Now they'll school up when they're small, but once they reach maturity and they pair off, they usually won't tolerate con specifics. Uh, so other Bengay cardinal fish. Now that's really cool. Andy just fed this carpet anemone, and it's hosting a group of pink skunk clownfish. So we're gonna do a video on how to do clownfish harem soon. Sorry, Paul, I'll plug on my channel, but. Um, the pink skunks you can keep in large groups, unlike the Ocellaris, where you can only keep those in pairs. And it just looks so cool to see them loving on an anemone. All right, Andy got pretty busy. I'm gonna bag up some stuff for Paul's tank. Just a little bit of cleanup crew. Um, and then of course, there's a pretty cool animal that I'm bringing from quarantine that I think you guys are gonna really like. So. Now that we're back from that, gonna get cleaned, and after that, we'll get our new stuff in. And by new stuff, you probably saw by the title and thumbnail, got some good stuff. Stuff, you know? Stuff. <laughs> clean but Tommy said something I want to get it on camera what'd you say yeah so when I'm moving this back and forth yeah it's close enough it makes them shrink yeah and can you zoom in right on that head one of the heads oh, yeah. that died off you see the baby head yep coming out of the bottom and there's some tissue there oh we got some new hammers mm -hmm. perfect all right we've been marking the egg crate on the top of this tank because now that we got an eel we need a top that is fully secured so Tommy and I's engineering has went right around our pump along our over... Oh, I just marked my... Okay, I'm gonna close this up Sharpie before we just start coloring my room. Right up along our overflow here. Looks good. We don't want anywhere, not even a single little spot. Even the little openings back here we gotta cover with like floss, fill in the holes. Let's do this. It's really, actually, it's really simple. It's super cool to watch too. It's very satisfying. And this is our piece, right there. Just like that, you can get this literally anywhere. Split your fish up with it too. My flower horns are actually split with this. And it doesn't decay in water either. It's like PVC, just like a PVC fence. Same exact thing. This is not a bad temporary top. We don't want our eel getting out and that is the main purpose we're doing this. You know, prior just our fish, we had these little things on top, but now it's serious. It'll get out of the littlest of holes, so. Oh, uh, we did a water test and apparently to Tommy, we need to feed the fish more, he said. Too clean. Too clean. Thanks, too clean. So uh, we gotta feed more. Okay. We gotta add more fish. And the fish that we're adding today is gonna need a lot more feeding than what you have in here. So a lot more feeding. Yeah, that should help us out. And it's like music to my ears when someone tells me a lot more fish. That's music to my ears. This it's one fish, but it's a lot more fish. Got it. Look at how pretty. You're beautiful. Everything's doing absolutely amazing. The fish look beautiful. The water's crystal clear. Look at that snug fit right there. Oh, that's beautiful. An eel ain't fitting through that. No, it's not. <laughs> We need one block for the cord, and I'm gonna try to do it with my hand like a karate. 
Hiya! Oh! Oh my god, that hurt! <laughs> Look at that fit! I mean, that's just immaculate! Beautiful! The whole way across, and it's got structure. You put some pressure, it's not just, you know. It is almost time, Gaferos. We're getting there, we're getting closer to the moment we've all been waiting for, and that is to get this eel. To even see the eel, let's put it that way, and get it into the aquarium behind me. We're gonna try to feed the coral, too. We have our defrosted shrimp here, our little sucks all the shrimp up like that, and you reach down and put it right onto the coral, just like that. And in just about five minutes, he's gonna be fully opened up, bringing in all those shrimp that are sitting on top of him. But we do this about every 10 days on this coral, and this one up front here as well. This one's gonna be going crazy. Oh, the fish is coming. Perfect. And feeding them like this is gonna enhance their growth a lot quicker, right? Oh yeah. Better growth, better color. Ready. Did, did you buy more snails? I did. More turbos? Yeah, you said you had some algae, so. You there we five go. more turbos. Five more turbos, and here we go. Three, two, one, our eel. Yo, holy moly. That is crazy. Wow, that's a good size too. Beautiful. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. It's wow. a nice one too. That is beautiful. It's a really nice one. And that is zebra, what is it? Yeah, zebra. A zebra eel. Wow. Zebra eel? Zebra eel. Zebra eel. Dude, that thing is so dope. And what does he eat mostly? Uh, you're gonna be feeding him a lot of crab clusters. Okay. I so some, some, some new some new food I'm gonna need to start buying and keep it in the freezer. Yep. Alright. Well, we're putting them in to acclimate. Guys and girls, this is gonna be insane when we see this thing just slowly go into the tank and he's gonna find a hole, I'm sure, right? Oh yeah. He's gonna find his own little spot. My guess is around here. Yeah, it's a lot more clustered. This is just Oh, this tank is beautiful. More corals to come soon, too, as well. Mm -hmm. More corals, we got some more turbos today, and an eel. I told y'all when we got this tank, it was gonna be a continuous, continuous project here at the house. Like, constantly getting stuff for it, checking the water, doing new things to it. Constantly something going on with Tommy and I between this saltwater tank. And this is just one of them. We might have another one. We might do another saltwater tank. Another saltwater tank? Yeah. What? We might have to do another one. If you think we should do another saltwater tank, maybe like a... Another one but predatory fish, or maybe even just a smaller one and do like invertebrates or something cool, Ooh. drop a like. Ooh. Drop a like down below, and if we hit like, what would be a good number? It's gotta be high. Gotta be high? Yeah, 50,000. 50,000? 50,000 likes. I will go and buy another saltwater tank right off the bat, the moment it hits 50K. But it's gotta hit it soon, it can't be like a year from now, you know what I mean? Well, well, what are you guys waiting for? Hit, hit the like button. What do they do? You smack the like button. <laughs> yes! Every time we get Tommy to say, smack the like button. Okay, so in about 30 minutes we're gonna have this eel in the aquarium. Now question Tommy, why in specific do we pick this zebra eel over all the other eels we could've got for this aquarium? Alright, so the zebra eel is the least likely to go after fish. Yeah. I've never seen them go after a fish. I've sold dozens of them. We have them in tons of our reef tanks. And then they're also very unlikely to go after your invertebrates as well. Sometimes they'll go after crabs or shrimps, but usually they don't. I mean, personally, I've never seen one go after uh, crabs or shrimps or snails or anything like that. Cool, all right, so that was just a question I had and I'm sure many of you had as well. Why are you putting an eel inside a reef tank, a reef aquarium? And that's exactly why. He's never had any problems with this in particular, this species in particular. Look at that thing right now. That is just so cool. Yeah, wow. Man, a lot of fun. Beautiful yeah, too. I could just picture him kind of just going in and out of these rocks. Well, our mushroom is uh, eating that shrimp that we put on it. It's completely closed up right now, and even down here a little bit. He's got all his little things out right now. This one's to open it up a little bit. Our axolotl's looking at us like, what's up, bro? How you doing? <laughs> there you go, they all suction cup to each other. Do you think and the one can hold up Can all hold the all of them? Oh, he can! <laughs> That's hilarious. We got our turbo snails all in here. In the bag, they all stick to each other. So we just stick one in the glass and it completely holds all the others up. So how many more is that? Five. 
So five, we have seven now? Uh, we had two. Five plus two, yeah, seven. Easy math, baby. Look at that. And the snails you really want to add slowly. Very slowly, right? Yeah. Because if you put in too many at once, they end up starving. So you put in a few at a time. And now with all this algae growth, exactly. there'll be plenty of food for all these to eat. Yep. For the first six months, you live with just a little bit of algae because you know that your tank's gonna be much more mature and stronger the next six months. Bam, baby! The next time I pick up the camera, we're gonna be getting this eel inside the aquarium. It is time to release our zebra eel. I'm glad he's going to a good home. Pretty. Me too, man. I'm glad. Oh, let me get the GoPro in the water. I gotta make sure I get this. Right out. Come on, bud. Yes. Yes. Oh, he's going to the front. Yo, look at that thing. Oh my gosh, dude. It looks sick with the stripes like that. He's hugging the rock right now. He's gonna go right into that rock. Wait till he finds a little spot that he likes and he's just gonna creep up in it. I think he's going into that hole. Yeah, he is. Look, his head's coming out over here. His head just came out this side. He's all wrapped around the rock. A water snake. Look at him right at the camera here. Beautiful. I'm trying to track him as best as I can. So dope, dude. That is so flipping cool. You know what I love is the more stuff we get, and you're just chilling here, relaxing, the more stuff you just notice out of nowhere. Like, whoa, that. This guy is gonna come out of absolutely nowhere. Just like he is right now, peeking out of the rock, and you're gonna be like, what? It's been months in the making. I say it every time. Things are coming together, and things that I've wanted for so, so long are finally a reality. There he goes. He's going into a hole, into a dark hole. There's so many different spots for him to hide. I mean, every single rock has a little mark in it, and he hasn't even made it anywhere past these two rocks right here. He's got all this to explore still. Lots of water for him, and lots of different structures for him. Lucky eel. Three days later. I don't know what that sound was, by the way. I, don't question me. Tank is looking good. Still not much algae on the glass. And our eel has made it. Oh, well, I'm trying to focus in there. He's all the way up in these rocks over here. His favorite rock is over here. And then he also loves this corner rock over here because it's like that little cave rock. So that's his favorite spot and that's his favorite spot. We need to feed him. Probably one of these different videos I'll do that. So make sure you subscribe down below. Hit the subscribe button. Just wanted to update you guys that our zebra eel and all of our fish are absolutely, look how beautiful, are absolutely amazing right now. I honestly couldn't be happier with the outcome of this tank. If you feel the same way, be sure. Subscribe down below, drop a like. I hope to see you right back here in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out. Don't forget. Well, they're probably sold out by now, but Pokemon down below.